Neil, was that a frustrating game today given the, the number of good chances we created in the game? It was frustrating, yeah. I didn't think we played well first half at all, Paul. I thought we were, our, you know, our focus going into the game I thought was good, but the way we approached the game first 20 minutes was, was poor. And um, a lot better from maybe 25, 30 minutes on, we started opening the game up. But our passing today was poor. Our playing the final third was poor. But in the end, we had you know three or four great chances to win the game. So you got to credit the goalkeeper for making some great saves. But we should be we should be scoring at least one or two today. Was that something obviously you had said to the players at half time? You know, given as you say, maybe the start wasn't what you'd hoped for. Yeah, I mean it was the exact same thing last year. We give them all the warnings. You know. We could could have come here to win the league last year. We could be two one, and we warned them about that complacency or I don't know attitude, whatever it is. It's not becoming of a Celtic team. What I saw for the first 20, 25 minutes. So you know we had to have a word with them. Second half again, tempo not great. A scruffy play in the final third, final ball. We had chances, but then the last 20 minutes when the game really opened up and Hib started to tire, we created some great opportunities and we should have won the game. Was that a surprise given you know how well we played the previous week? Yeah. Yeah, so we're a little bit up and down at the minute. I don't know where to go. You know, we haven't changed much and um, obviously we were forced to make a couple of changes due to injury, but um, you know the bulk of the team was still there. But it's the final third, you know, we're we're, we're short today. We were short today. And as you say the, the goalkeeper produced some great saves to nice, particularly at the end when we were kind of laying siege to the, the penalty there. Yeah but it's I want that from half an hour in, or I want that from the start of the game. Not, you know, wait until the last ten minutes when Hibs are hanging on. We should be controlling the game better, and we should have more opportunities, particularly in the first half. I think the goalie had one save to make first half from it might have been Mika or, or Ollie, and that's not enough. Obviously, a week now to prepare for tomorrow. You'll be working on the things that you, you weren't happy with today. Then. Yeah, but it's attitude as well, Paul, and it's focus and it's. Going into the game with real intent, and yeah, Hibs, we're Celtic, so Hibs are going to raise the game. I get that, and we have to be ready for it. And we just looked like we weren't ready for it, and it's not we're passing on the right messages. But they've got great belief that they can go and win the game, and in the end, the last 20 25 minutes was a lot more like it. But I want more of that from start to finish. I mean, the ball broke to watch near the end, yeah, you think everybody thought it was yeah, you're end. thinking goal. I mean, he's he's unlucky with the free kick, it's a great free kick. But you'd fancy Hudson to score that. And we had a great chance with Tom. He could have slid James in, decides to take the shot. So at times of decision making could have been better as well. So you just a week now to prepare for Marlock next Saturday? Yeah, a week. Yeah. I mean I don't think we need much preparation. You know, I think we just need to, you know, galvanise ourselves, win the game and then take it from there, see what next week brings. Okay, thanks, Neil. Cheers, thanks. thanks.